Known for making high quality flash games, Juicy Beast Studio is once again delving into the mobile market with an iOS port of one of their most popular titles. In Nightmare Tower, you take on the role of a lone knight who's informed of the kidnapping of the king's daughters, all ten of them. It's up to you to ascend the tower they've been imprisoned in and stop the evil forces responsible. Our little hero is aided by a rocket. The rocket only gives you a little bit of momentum and by slaying enemies, the player will gain more. In addition, if you do happen to miss an enemy and fall off the bottom of the screen, your rocket will save you, providing of course you're far enough ahead of the rising pool of lava. Just like Juicy Beast's previous title, Burrito Bison, Nightmare Tower could be classed as a pseudo-endless runner with persistent upgrades. Rest assured, you won't be stuck with that rather rickety looking wooden rocket for long, as killing enemies and completing challenges will award the player with a nice little income to assist you on your journey. There's a huge amount of upgrades available, from new rockets that propel you faster to increased armor that will allow you to take more hits. In addition, there's potions to unlock, which appear randomly to give the player a variety of bonuses, and major gameplay mechanics can be unlocked by saving princesses. In case it's not already obvious, Juicy Beast doesn't take themselves too seriously. All of the art in their titles is hand-drawn, seemingly drawing inspiration from shows like Ren and Stimpy and SpongeBob SquarePants. The game won't take you long to complete, weighing in at approximately three to four hours. Thankfully, there's an endless survival mode that unlocks after you've beaten the final boss. And of course, there's leaderboards and achievements to unlock courtesy of Game Center. This is an amazingly complete package. It's challenging, fast, beautiful, and addictive. Juicy Beast even brought on Hyperduck Soundworks, whose amazing work can be heard in other independent titles, including Scrolls and Dust and Elysium Tail. The only criticism I have is that some users might like to change the sensitivity of the tilt controls. In a game that could easily take advantage of in-app purchases, it's refreshing to see a game rely solely on its merits and release as a premium title. Nightmare Tower launches on August 1st and will cost $2.99. You could of course play the nearly identical Flash version for free, but the cost of entry is well worth having it on a mobile phone. Thanks for joining us today for this preview of Nightmare Tower. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the hottest mobile titles. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.